going on guys welcome back to the channel we're hanging out here in the garage we just got back um, just got the boat back in the garage um, I went out to a local lake tonight for a couple hours um, and just tested out some actions of some newer products that I've had that I haven't had a chance to um, just test out and just kind of see what they do in the water and see how they look and stuff um, and after I got home, um, I had a package waiting at my door. Um, this is one that I've been really excited to show you guys. Um, it's what I ended up getting. And I just ordered a couple for right now. Um, but I purchased the new product release. Um, the classic release products for Dirty Jigs. Um, they released a spinnerbait and a full-size underspin. So I picked these up um, and just kind of want to give you first look my first impression of these things um so let's start off by talking about the spinnerbait um the reason why i want to do that is this is dirty jigs's first spinnerbait um that i've seen on the market from them um they advertise this as a compact spinnerbait um this one that i picked up is a 3 8 ounce um in the tactical shad color how well you can see that it's kind of like a clearish white skirt and then there's some like grayish on the back of that. Um, overall, really, really nice looking spinnerbait. Um, they advertise this as a compact spinnerbait, which re was really intriguing to me, especially in this color. Um, I typically don't fish spinnerbaits a ton in um, the summertime. I typically throw my spinnerbaits in the spring, pre-spawn, and then again in the fall. And I don't throw a lot during the summertime. So this is something that I think I can add to my arsenal um, and fish a little bit more in the summertime. Now to compare that to a traditional spinnerbait, and I'm going to compare that to my favorite one on the market, um, just to kind of show you a size um, difference between them, because they do advertise this as a compact spinnerbait. So this one right here is a Blue Rock Custom Tackle. Um, 3 8 ounce spinnerbait as well so both of these are in 3 8 ounce um, just to kind of show you a size difference between the two um, this is a full size spinnerbait by Blue Rock Custom Tackle the Dirty Jigs one like I said they advertise as a compact um, spinnerbait and as you can see definitely more on the downsize profile which was what really intrigued me about this overall um, I think the 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 design of this is is really good it looks like it has a really good stout hook in that especially for a downsize profile i don't know if you can see there it has a little wire trailer keeper um overall the skirt um i really like it it's a real like thin skirting material i think it's going to add that pulsating action especially as you're pumping that rod and reeling it um, through the water column um, overall looks like it has really good components i'm pretty satisfied with that so just wanted to give you guys a first look at that spinner bait as well and then the other thing that I picked up, um, like I said, this is Dirty Jigs Classic release for the Bassmaster Classic. I'm um, also picked up a full size underspin. An underspin is one of the lures that I feel like I really enjoy fishing, but I've had a really hard time finding one on the market that I really like. So what I did was I actually started making my own. Um, and as you can see, this one's just really, really beat up and mangled. Um, this one that I was making of my own, um, I've caught a ton of fish on this thing. This one is a 3 8 ounce with a 3 aught hook. Um, and that's exactly what this Dirty Jigs underspin is as well. It is a 3 8 ounce with a 3 aught hook. Um, that's the hook size that I purchased. Um, overall, very similar. Um, I will say I have the dirty jigs um mini underspin um and i really like it now this is going to be huge size difference because this is a 1 8 ounce this is a 3 8 um but as you can see just very similar design um the blade size is a little bit bigger um head size is a little bit bigger obviously because of the weight and hook size is a little bit bigger i really like this 3 8 or the mini underspin when throwing like 2.8 3 inch swim baits um i'll go up to 3.3 maybe a three and a half but with that real small hook in that i don't go too much bigger than that um and so i felt 
um, again with a mini underspin, I still was missing that profile other than the underspin that I make myself, missing that for a full size profile swim bait. And that's where I picked up this Dirty Jigs underspin. And I can tell you if it performs anything anywhere close to the mini, um, this thing's going to be awesome. The mini underspin is one of the few, like I said, on the market that I really, really like. I like the action of them. One of my favorite things about it is you can fish it pretty quick, um, and it does not blow out or roll over. Now, a lot of the underspins on the market, and one of the reasons why I don't like them is I like to burn these occasionally up in the shallows. When you do that, these things want to roll completely over on top. Um, upside down and it just it's terrible and so finding one on the market it would not do that was near impossible that's why I started my, making my own and I can say from fishing the mini underspin I fished the one eighth ounce version of this I fished the one quarter ounce version of the mini I've yet to have that thing roll over uh, flip upside down blow out while fishing it um, and then that's at multiple different speeds so I really like that and I believe the same exact design in this um, full-size underspin is going to be really awesome as well. So um, that's what I picked up. I know it's just a short video. I just want to give you guys a first glance at that. Um, just kind of show you my uh, um, things that I picked up and show you or talk to you a little bit about my initial impressions. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like the video and drop a comment down below. Um, thanks for watching, guys.